At the dawn of the 21st century, the number of fugitives wanted by the FBI soared to record levels. Federal agencies were overwhelmed with unsolved cases. Fugitives became more dangerous and unpredictable, and the top 10 most wanted were increasingly linked to terrorism. This emergence of worldwide terror networks caused unprecedented casualties abroad and at home. To deal with this crisis, Congress orders the creation of CIFR, the Criminal Interdiction and Fugitive Recovery Task Force. Hosted by the State Department, CIFR's primary objective is to hunt down the world's most elusive and dangerous fugitives and bring them in alive. Hand-picked by the military to lead CIFR's Alpha Team, Lieutenant Jake Sieber is a veteran of counterterrorism and urban warfare. In 1999, a covert mission was launched to hunt down and capture top Al-Qaeda leaders. Sieber was assigned to this mission on the Afghan-Pakistani border. Press the R1 button to fire your weapon. Press the R2 button to fire your secondary weapon. Pressing the R2 button with certain weapons will initiate a close physical attack. You can use this to stun fugitives. Use the L1 button to jump. Use the L2 button to crouch. To lean left or right from a corner, Press the directional button left or right. Press the triangle button to switch weapons. Press the circle button to reload, the square button to lock on target, and the X button to interact with certain objects. Your left analog stick will move you forward, back, left, and right. Your right analog stick rotates your view. To check your objectives, press the Start button, then choose Mission Objectives. To stun the fugitive, press the R1 button to shoot him with your fletchet gun. To stun this guy, walk up to him and press the R2 button with your pistol. To stun this fugitive, press the R2 button with your tack shotgun. To use your inventory, press the Select button. You can also access inventory through the Pause screen. Your inventory is composed of three rings, Weapons, Items, and Ammo. Up and down selects different rings. Left and right selects your item, weapon, or ammo type. To invert your view, press the Start button to bring up the Pause menu. Select Game Options, then invert view. To quickly turn around, double tap the R3 button. To level your view, press the L3 button and the R3 button together. This is great if you get disoriented. 
Press the square button to auto-target an enemy in your view. This will make shooting enemies much easier. Hold down the square button as you move around to stay locked on an enemy. The Enforcer pistol is your basic weapon. It can be augmented with a scope or silencer by selecting these from your inventory ring. The grenade launcher can launch different types of grenades. Red airburst grenades can be bounced around corners, down halls, then detonated by pressing the X button. Green homing missiles will seek out enemies automatically. They will home in on the last enemy painted red with your crosshair. Blue TV guided grenades can be steered into your target with the right analog stick. To choose different grenade types, press the select button while holding the grenade launcher. This will bring up your ammo ring. To control the velocity and distance of your airburst grenades, press and hold the R2 button. You'll notice the small blue bar above your weapon readout will charge up accordingly. Experiment by releasing the R2 button at different times. The Dragon Flamethrower is great for close encounters. Press the R2 button to launch a portable fuel air bomb, ideal for cave cleaning. When you fire your secondary, the small blue bar above the weapon readout will be depleted and slowly recharge. Once it's full, you can fire again. Attack Shotgun holds 10 rounds and has a fast reload. Press the R2 button to flash stun your enemies prior to capturing them. Use the Pamir Sniper Rifle for targets far away. Press the directional button up and down to zoom in and out. Press the directional button left and right to lean while sniping. The PN10 Fletchet Gun is ideal for stunning fugitives. Once you stun them, get close and press the X button to capture the fugitives. You'll find other weapons out there, like double barrel shotguns, AK-74s, and RPGs.
take a nap now. Just what I was looking for. Tough. 
intended. How's your ribs? Jamal Richardson was an accomplice in a series of murders and bank robberies perpetrated by the Biscayne Posse. Richardson held two hostages at gunpoint while they were executed by his partner, Casey Weber. Richardson should be considered armed and dangerous. A snitch on the inside of Weber's gang dropped dime on him. Casey Weber's been spotted in the warehouse district. Move fast and you'll be able to capture him and his second in command, Jamal Richardson. Radio me when you've got Weber. Roger that, Alpha. Give me that freaking money! I ain't got no money, bro! I'ma bust you up! Oh, you gonna bust me up? We'll see about that. Come on, bring it! You're coming in this time. How's your ribs? That's right. Man, tough guy. How's your ribs? Who's tough now, Jamal? Weber's gonna bust you up. Up against the wall! Oh! Alpha 1, this is Sierra 5. Fugitive is in custody at my location. Proceeding to next target. Roger that, Sierra 5. I understand. Proceed to the next target.
There you go. No beef with you, dog. Where's Weber at? You have to wear him. I'll tell you where he at. Give me some money, dog. Here's some cash. I'll give you the key to the warehouse. Now get out of here.
Invincible.
weapons.
your hair. In that outfit? Let's get this over with. Bring it on. Go back to jail, Weber. Brought to the last bank. You don't know who's messing with that. Casey Weber was the key figure in a series of violent bank robberies that resulted in the death of two security guards and six hostages. His gang, the Biscayne Posse, is heavily armed with handguns, shotguns, and grenades. Weber is a methamphetamine addict and should be considered armed and extremely dangerous. Charles Marcus has been linked to over 20 homicides in the western United States. Several of Marcus's victims were targets of the Patriots, a militia group which supplies weapons and explosives to criminal organizations. Marcus works primarily as a contract killer for the Patriots and was last seen in Thunder Rock, Utah. Marcus should be considered armed and dangerous.
invincible. Just a contract killer, you old man. I'm gonna teach you a lesson. Contract that on you, punk. Our military freak. Not so bad, Marcus.
health. Too slow. slow.
health. Too slow. Their major supplier is an offshore company, somewhere in the Caribbean.
in a health clinic bombing. Sierra 5, I have a fugitive in custody. Request immediate evac on my location. 